Hello YouTube users, and today is Bo Shonikin, Ninja Fat. Today I'm holding these crude little weapons called a Bo Shonikin. Nice, ain't they? Well, anyways, they're just a long spear-like shaft type of weapon. Many cultures got these type of weapons. The Chinese and Japanese. But this was also a shinobi or a ninja and samurai weapon. The actual holding of these this for the no spin and this is for the one spin. There's also a hold a certain kind of way. Oh yeah, look at that. A little magic trick there. Make a metal thing. Funny, ain't it? Alright. This gets to the seriousness of this. These are penetrators. They can penetrate flesh pretty well. Um... I was throwing these one time at a target of mine and I had been able to pierce the target all the way up to the thumb. At roughly maybe about like 15 feet yeah, 15 feet before then I was practicing with um, chopstick and I usually get the chopstick stuck about like right about there so in other words these things are pretty good penetrators um, it was also dipped in poison Sometimes. Most of the time, they wasn't. The rest of the time, they was just plain as this. Some swordsmen hailed these. Also. For distraction. Before they did a cut. And that was pretty interesting how do they do that easy they hold the sword with one hand up and through but where was it put at all right simple as that it was put in the obi the belt it's sticking out like this swordsman grab looked out through. But other than that, these are deadly. Very deadly. They can also be held as a stabbing button. You can stab real quick. Places I would stab with these things, an area that can Help most blood flow would be the carotid arteries right here, armpits. There's a place in the armpit if you hit it this right, you can purely bleed profusely, and near the grind area. But can also this wound person by hitting them anywhere in the leg 
for the rest of the time these things were growing. Only time when these things were into close combat was in their tiny jitsu. Or when they didn't have enough time to throw. So that's interesting facts to know. Sometimes you can use them in the back of the hands. Hit that area right there. Pretty painful. Definitely. Well, that's all we have for the ninja facts today. And remember, both shonikins, they're definitely not toys. They can be very serious. I even hear sometimes people back in the old days stab people right in the ear. But other than that, that's the ninja fact. Peace, my ninjas. Oh, by the way. I smell good.